The piece is basically about a manuscript that I discovered online which um, is kept in the Bamberg State Library and it's this amazing book of calligraphy um, that was obviously a kind of private sort of workbook for the calligrapher, um, Johann Herring it's called. And what's really unusual about it, because although it's from the 17th century, it's full of basically abstract designs, um, which would never happen in those days. So, you know, and there's, there's some kind of conventional stuff where he's copies out passages from the Bible and like the Book of Common Prayer um, in Latin and German. And then there are some designs that are just like sort of contemporary abstract art. <laughs> The piece is in two movements, so in the second movement um, I explore the idea of a sort of melodic lines as if they're kind of a main text that become increasingly ornamented until they're kind of unrecognisable and there's so many at the same time you're just sort of overwhelmed by ornaments. Um, and in the first movement I sort of looked at the idea of a quite a straightforward um, main idea which was, again was a melody in this case, but that it's kind of surrounded by really kind of complicated filigree um, which is also happens in several of the manuscripts. Um, so in that case there's this kind of high and very sort of delicate um, figuration at the top of the texture that at some times uh, in the piece kind of takes over the foreground but at the same time there's also a sort of melodic focus uh, mainly in the clarinets basically. Well, I mean, it really was an amazing experience to have a piece recorded like that because, um, you know, with a lot of contemporary music, it's, it just gets performed once and that's all you get. And it's so nice to have something um, where actually there, you know, there was a workshop of it and then a proper performance and now a recording that, you know, will last and I can give it to people and people can buy it. You know, that's going to be pretty cool. So. Yeah, that, that's an amazing opportunity and it's been so nice to uh, work with the players because um, you know, over the years I've known some people from the LSO, I've really got to know some of the players very well and they're, they're very kind, very supportive people and you know, always come and say hello to you if they see you in other contexts, which is great. Yeah, and it, it can be really scary. I remember when I was writing the piece thinking, oh my God, you know, every single note I write here is going to be played by one of the best players in the country, if not the world. <laughs> um, but I guess you just have to not think about that so that you can actually get it written and then worry about it afterwards. <laughs>